Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I am giving away this Link Loot Crate exclusive shirt that I received in my crate. And the way I'm going to give it away is I'm going to have like a puzzle in one of my upcoming videos. It's going to be actually really interesting and I can't wait to upload that video. I am working on it already. So just uh, subscribe and stay tuned. So let's go ahead and get into this guide. So this guide is to obtain the Medal of Honor for Moduga. So what you're going to do is come over here to Gerudo Town. And before you start watching this guide, guys, you need to complete the main quest. So once you complete the main quest, you can come and do this. So you're going to come outside Gerudo Town, sleep into the night, and you're going to find Kilton. Alright guys, so right here is Kilton, and he's a vendor. He sells the Dark Link outfits, and mask, and um, he, he uses a currency called Mon, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> and you can just exchange monster parts for Mon and that's his currency so you can go ahead and talk to him about the monsters and then you're gonna go ahead and click right here you're gonna talk about the monsters he, he's obviously gonna talk to you for a while and then he'll he's gonna talk to you about the sand beast right there the giant sand beast so you go ahead and go to the bottom and go to the giant sand beast he's gonna tell you that there's only four so Kilton um, like I said, you need to complete the main quest, guys. So if you haven't completed the main quest, you probably don't know who Kilton is. Or if you're new to Zelda, Kilton is, he's on one of the labs. You're going to go to Skull Lake and go wait until the night, take a picture of him, and then find him again. And then he'll just start appearing randomly. So then let's see this guy later. And let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the locations of them right there. So there's one in the Southern Oasis right there one in the middle of there and one next to the shrine so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast travel to the shrine here alright so our first Molduga is gonna be actually right here guys so there's different ways to kill him or it it can be a she we don't know so I recommend that you have the sand boots guys um, it's a big I do have sand boots and I do have a Barbarian Max chest armor, so it gives me a little bit more attack. And then I recommend the Lino Bow. If you don't have the Lino Bow, any bow in general. And then at night, it's going to be cold, so make sure you have some cold-resistant gear and some heat-resistant gear if you're going to be in this desert. So it is night, so I need cold resistance. So what ruins you would be using is Stasis and the Robot Bomb. Not the Robot, the Remote Bomb, I apologize. So this is a Molduga right there. So you'll see him in the sand. And then you're just going to go ahead and drop a bomb. Once it eats the bomb, you're going to go ahead and just detonate it. And then it should just drop to the floor like that. Um, right here, I'm using the Master Sword. And I used a special ability from the Divine Beast. And it took nearly half of the health. Then you can use Stasis here and just start hitting it. And then you can also hit it with the bow in this part right here. But I'll show you that in a later video. So once. Once he does his little tail whip, and just be careful at the end, he does do a tail whip, so keep your distance. And also, I recommend, um, there's a lot of enemies around, guys, so, and they do grab your bombs and stuff, so just be careful on that. Um, I got lucky right here, <laughs> and he got uh, some splash damage there, but yeah, that was, that was pretty much luck. So just use stasis, and just finish him off here. And that was pretty simple, guys. Um, no issues whatsoever and once you get the basic mechanics of it you shouldn't have really any issues whatsoever there are several ways to actually defeat this beast but it's really your personal choice I can just use my stronger gear and defeat him quickly but I don't want to waste my stronger gear on these weak amateur little beast here so I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel over here not actually fast travel just time travel guys and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fast forward this one guys um, I don't wanna bore y'all too much but same thing just use your bomb and this is this is reason I fast forwarded I just hit him with the arrow guys and I am using the spear here and it, the spear is like I think at 30 so it is a little more time consuming guys but it is effective any weapon will do damage you can even throw bombs at him um, it's pretty simple so let's go ahead and just see the loot that I get here real quick that does drop guts and fins 
Alright, so obviously there I just got some useless gear that I probably would never use. So let's go ahead and find the next two beasts here. And you can just travel to any of these shrines that you like just so you can uh, get a little closer so you won't have to be walking so much. So once you find this one, this was in the southern oasis guys. And just be careful that there's no obstacles between you and the Moduga just due to the fact that they're kind of retarded to be honest they they don't go under things they just go on the side of them so just make sure you have a kind of an open area just so you can um, attack and like I said just be careful with enemies on the sides so just go ahead and drop the bomb and this is how I take them out guys I use just my bow I did farm arrows when I was able to you still can it's just a little more time consuming and this is where I'm using a sphere and it does very little damage there just so you can see but you still do damage but what I recommend is just getting a bow and that takes pretty much about 10% off guys so and remember you can use your stasis hit them with bows and then you can also use I don't know if I mentioned in earlier in the video but you can use bomb arrows you can use all you can even use ancient arrows guys so it's really whatever you prefer but I do recommend the lino ball with that shoots five or three it does massive damage as you can tell so let's go ahead and see the loot that I get here guys so more fins and guts right there and let's see what's in this treasure chest here and a royal shield all right that one's actually pretty good at 74 not too bad extra durability so we're just gonna go ahead and go back down here and this is the last one guys so we're almost done guys and then just get a bomb and like I said just stay in a clear area and boom bomb it and then hit it with some arrows so that's about 10% then just hit it with some spears some whatever you have guys just hit it with whatever you got and then we can hit it some more then you can use your stasis oh no I obviously already used it so I'm just using my bow and I should be able to take it out without using another bomb so I think two more hits and I should yes one more hit and it's done oh no maybe I missed some right there so boom that's it guys that's how I usually kill them with just arrows it's just easier I farmed a bunch of arrows and it's easy getting the line of are pretty much easy for me too so I just use arrows on pretty much every enemy. So let's see what we got here. And a radiant shield. Everyone gets different loot guys, so I do have different I do have some viewers that have different gear that in different situations. So if you didn't get what I got, it's just random guys, it's RNG. So you're gonna go ahead and come back over here to the shrine outside Gerudo Town. And what we're gonna do is just place some wood. And let's light this wood up here, guys. Alright, so just place the wood, get a flame sword, or you can use flint. Just don't miss, guys. It does roll, so it, it was just messing with me. So you're going to wait until the night. And then what I recommend, guys, I don't know if a lot of people, especially in the sand area, you can use your Divine Beast ability and just fly to wherever you need to. It's probably... get uh, easier to travel in the desert doing this but you only have four and then you'll recharge it but it's just faster than walking through the desert guys so then let's go talk to our boy Kilton and let's go ahead and get our Medal of Honor guys alright guys and then also the Medal of Honor really doesn't do anything besides you know it recognizes that you accomplished that so yeah <laughs> it really doesn't do nothing it's just a shiny medal to be honest so also guys if this video helped you please uh, like the video and I just want to thank you all for watching this video guys and please stay tuned for that giveaway guys subscribe and stay tuned I'm so excited to give it away and I am making it kind of difficult but easy just due to um, ages there's younger viewers and there's older viewers so just I hope you understand that it may be kind of easy and if you had no problem with this game you should have no problem finding it out and I will have future giveaways I am gonna give away poster 
um, I do have extra Anibos, so just just stay tuned guys and subscribe and I am out YouTube